Good morning. <laughs> oh. Star of the show right here. Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new week in the life vlog. Happy Monday. I am just going to be to take Cleo outside. I've been waking up quite a bit earlier for the past week, and it feels really good to be outside like before the sun is fully up. It feels really good just like to get out there early. It's gonna be a good day. I was reading the comments on the video that I posted last night before I went to bed and in that video I just opened up about like perfectionism and how I don't have my new year's goals yet and I'm just so grateful for you all. Like I can't even explain how good my mood is when I get to wake up and talk to you guys so oh. <laughs> Oops. side note i think i need to take cleo's jacket to the dry cleaning because it's getting dirty but i feel like they're gonna laugh at me <laughs> when i show up with this little dog jacket but they're actually really nice so maybe that's another thing we need to do this week but anyways are you ready to go outside honey yeah. Yummy. I am getting ready to go work out. We love a Monday morning workout. And one of my friends is actually joining me this morning. So it's gonna be fun to see her. Um, but I wanted to ask if any of you guys are runners because I've been considering like getting more into running this year. Running outside for me is like a big uncharted territory type of thing. But I do think that supplementing my daily walks and my workouts with running is going to give me really good results. So I wanted to ask if any of you guys are beginners and if you have tips on like ways you like improved your stamina or advice, please let me know. I'm thinking about just starting to do like 10 minutes of running a week, like starting out really small like that. And then I'm sure it'll be a domino effect and I'm going to want to do more and more and more. Um, but I need to get some like actual running shoes because the sneakers I have right now are not meant for running. Anyways, we're going to go and then after that I'm immediately going to go to my nail appointment. I'll probably have a little bit of time to go to a cafe too because I have like a little gap between them. The workout was really good and got my nails taken off um, just like filed down took off all the polish I want to wait a few weeks before I go get them redone just because I have something in February that I want to have like nice new nails for now I'm making some lunch we're just having chicken sausage and vegetables I don't think I've mentioned this yet on my channel but like ever since getting back from the States from like the holidays I've had no appetite like, I am a hungry girl usually. I can eat. I could literally finish a whole pizza in one sitting if I really wanted to. And, like, nothing really sounds yummy. So I've just been sticking to, like, eggs, vegetables, smoothies. I was just on the phone with my boyfriend. He's actually been in Bali for the past month. I haven't seen him in over a month now because I was in the States and then he was in Bali. And he gets back here in two days. So in two days, we will finally be reunited. But actually, like, it has been a really good month for us to have apart because he moved into my studio with me earlier this summer and i really don't mind having him living here at all 
but I will say when there's like a couple living together in a tiny studio, there does come a time where you're like, okay, we need a little bit of space just to like breathe, you know what I mean? Like, I love him to bits, don't get me wrong, but it's been a really good month for us to have apart. And I think it's also really healthy in relationships to have like a little bit of time apart, assuming that you don't have like kids to take care of and stuff like that. Bali looks like so much fun though. He's always sending me pictures and the food looks good. If you guys have been to Bali, how was it? I was scared that he was gonna get Bali belly, I think it's called, but knock on wood, he's been pretty good. Anyways, my veggies are finished. Just having some broccoli and green beans. And that reminds me, I need to clean my pans today. I need to get some baking soda and scrub them. I was gonna buy new pans, but I was like, no girl, you need to save money and just try to fix these yourself. But I don't know like how they get so gross. All right, here it is. This took literally five minutes. Yummy. the scare happy tuesday i did not sleep well at all last night which is weird because usually i'm a really good sleeper like i sleep through the night wake up to my alarm and last night i fell asleep at i guess 12 30 a.m and then i woke up at 4 30 and i could not fall back asleep until i guess 7 and then i slept from 7 to 8 and then woke up so i woke up later than i wanted to but i kind of had to in order to like get enough sleep i'm not really sure why that happened and i'm hoping the rest of the week i can get like back on track with sleeping through the night but anyways i took a shower and that felt really good i already took cleo out and i also have some laundry going at the convenience store right now so i need to get my hair blow dried and then go pick up my laundry i'm really excited for today or this afternoon i'm meeting up with my friend and we're taking our dogs to a photo shoot which is just so heartwarming we've done it before and it's such a good memory she has two dogs so this time she's gonna take the dog that she didn't bring to the photo shoot last time and then i'm gonna go with cleo again and we're gonna do a little mama daughter picture um but that's not until two o'clock so i'm just gonna spend the rest of the morning working on my computer let my hair air dry a little bit pick up my laundry and then this afternoon is when the real fun begins but let's try this coffee i got this um coffee concentrate which is basically just i think espresso i think it's really really strong so you're not supposed to use a lot i put like one shot in and then i just added water and a little bit of milk i feel like it needs to be a little stronger i actually really want an espresso machine but my kitchen is so small i feel like i just don't have space for it so when i move in the spring i'm definitely going to be investing in a nice espresso maker and in the meantime this will do oh that is so good
and that makes me nervous. Yeah. Because I don't want to get... All right, finally home after a really good day. Today was a day that just warmed my heart. It was so fun with the pups going to the photo shoot. Let me show you guys. She gave us the like a service, like a big printout photo. Oh my goodness, little Cleo. And my friend brought a bubble maker, bubble machine, which was such a fun prop. And then I also got a second printout. I actually got like a few printouts with the same two photos. Isn't the Photoshop so funny though? Like I let her just go all in and do whatever she wanted because in Korea they will Photoshop your photo quite a lot. I also got like all the raw photos so I can go ahead and like play around and edit any of the raw photos that I want to. But it was just so much fun. If you guys have a dog, I recommend doing some kind of like photo shoot with them. Here's some more of the raw photos. <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie, Cleo's pretty good in front of the camera. She's very food motivated. So as long as we have some treats for her, I know this is kind of gross. <laughs> um, as long as we have treats for her. Such a good little girl. Anyways, I just got home from my workout and now I'm making some dinner. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I also have to film a reel before I go to bed. It's already like 8.30, so it's gonna be kind of like a late evening probably. I probably won't go to bed till pretty late, but Cleo is knackered. She's like pretty tired from being outside. <laughs> it's been sunny for a while here so it's nice to have like a cozy day once in a while today is going to be a really big clean out day i already did a clean out day last week and i still feel like there's more stuff to clean out because i had tried to sell some of my clothes online and some of them just are not selling however some of the stuff that i'm trying to get rid of is actually good like zara jeans just i have no use for them i don't like wearing jeans i literally don't remember the last time i wore jeans actually i'm just going to resort to giving it all away for free so i'm gonna have to list all that stuff online this morning and then hopefully throughout the day people will come pick it up i've noticed that whenever i list stuff for free like people usually come within an hour to get it which is really nice i also just got something in the mail if you guys live abroad, then you know the feeling of relief, excitement, and just happiness when your visa gets renewed. I am so happy. It's just like a time-consuming, drawn-out process. Like, it's not the type of thing that you can just quickly do in a day. I think it's like that for every country, though. Like, it's a visa, so it's not something that's easy to get. Oh, that reminds me. I also have to get my passport renewed this year in case you're wondering when you live in korea you have one of these foreign id cards it's called an alien registration card and you have your picture and then it has like all your info like your address and then on the back it has like all of the years that you've lived here and as you can see mine is filled up so you have like four spaces one space for each year so next year i'm gonna have to get a new card because there's no more space on here Forgot another package some more little organizers because there's a closet at the front of my house that just needs a tiny bit more help oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> what the heck am i missing something is there a trick i ordered these i guess i will try to get them I 
invested in just a little bit more storage because I just have a lot of like knickknacks that need to be put away nicer like all of the protein drinks I have and all of Cleo's oh speak of the devil <laughs> all of Cleo's um clothes and I wanted to show you late last year my friend got me the cutest little lululemon pup accessory and you can clip it onto their leash and that way you can keep like dog bags your wallet even like a mini water bottle or something in here and it totally matches cleo's color scheme so this is so cute i just want to show you guys in case any of you have dogs and i just thought it was so cute Okay, out on our evening walk. Not gonna lie, a couple hours ago, I looked at my step count and it was at like 3,000. And I was like, nar. <laughs> and it started giving me anxiety and I just sat there for like a little bit. And then I was like, no girl, get up. You're gonna feel so much better after. And you know what? I already feel like 20 times better. So glad I came outside. Um, I just try to avoid crowds at night because I just don't want to walk around crowds. So I'm glad we have like a couple spots that are our go-tos. And Cleo's so happy. Definitely cannot complain. Those steps right there actually used to be a very, very popular drinking zone. People used to order food, bring alcohol, and just sit out here with their friends like all night. It was so busy. And then I guess like beginning of the summer, the government made a new regulation and you're not allowed to have alcohol so you're only allowed to like bring coffee here due to the trash which i completely agree with especially being by the water it's really sad that people can't pick up after themselves but now it's really quiet so honestly i'm, I'm not mad about these new rules because it gives us a better walking spot <laughs> my goodness i mean it looks pretty good it's definitely a process very simple process but just like a long drawn out process of letting it rise again and again but i am so excited to try this tomorrow my boyfriend gets home at like 8 a.m so i thought it would be nice just to have a nice fresh loaf of bread that he can have because it's always a good feeling when you get back from traveling and there's food in the house <laughs> Jelly? Yeah. And then what else? Um, jelly, some chip, gacho. Okay. Did you miss Korean snacks while you were gone? Yeah. <laughs>
happy friday this week flew by i can't believe it's already friday yesterday i don't think i talked to you guys that much i just basically spent the day with my boyfriend we didn't see each other in like over a month so it was really nice just to eat our favorite comfort food and snacks and watch love island like what we do best I pretty much just been spending all day today editing because I really want to make sure I get my next video up on time. So that's been going well. And then I've also been planning out a couple videos for like the next month or so. Obviously there's only like 10 more days left in January, which is insane. I love doing these vlogs, so they're not going anywhere, but I also want to incorporate a couple more sit down style videos on my channel this year. And I think the one I'm going to start out with is things I no longer buy in 2024, because that's something that I I just really want to share with you so that's the video that i am now planning i was supposed to have a workout class this evening but i actually just canceled it because we decided we're gonna go on a little dinner date to a restaurant that we've always been wanting to go to so i canceled my workout class and i think instead i'm just gonna do a home workout which i haven't done in such a long time i love home workouts but i think in my little studio sometimes it's just hard to get motivation because i literally have furniture like I mean, I can't fully spread my arms out in my house without touching something, but I have a yoga mat, I have weights, I just need to take advantage of them. So I think I've hit a good resting point in my computer work right now, so I'm going to find some kind of workout video on YouTube, and then I'm going to end it out with a nice long walk with Cleo. Finally, the rain has stopped, so I can get Cleo outside without getting too wet. I just want to check in and say hi. Happy Friday. Also, I saw on Instagram that today Kaine finally launched their new lip balm. I got these in about a week ago and I love them. As you guys know, I'm not a big lipstick person. I don't wear lipstick, lip liner, or lip gloss. I just prefer the way lip balms look on me because it just enhances my natural lip shape and color. And I've been wearing um, this one from Kaine. This is their transparent one. And then they also have a couple more that have a tint. I'll probably wear the tinted one out tonight, but I just wanted to shot them out because you guys know I love their skincare. And when I found out they were coming out with lip balms, I was super, super excited. It's really cool to see a brand that you love so much just continue to grow and grow and grow. And they are woman owned, which is like so inspiring to me. All right, anyways, we're gonna get this show on the road. I need to change into something a little more workout appropriate. I'm definitely kind of dragging myself to do this workout, but I've been in a really good routine lately and I took a rest day yesterday, so that gives me all the more reason to just push through this today. All right, 